Everyone's all hyped up about the Pixel, but they forget about one thing that the iPhone can do. Be nearly indestructible for a phone. Uh, this is for a sec. But, now, this is a brand new iPhone 14. And... Sing food drop, perfectly fine. So recording. So focuses. So it's recording. No cracks, no scrapes. I think it's time to clean it off. I'll leave it in here for half an hour.
Hey guys, this is why I believe that the iPhone is the greatest phone ever produced and manufactured on a mass scale. And it's not about the operating system or Android versus iOS because realistically speaking, I am an, I like Android a lot. Sure, it's gotten a bit still in my opinion. And iOS is starting to break out of the shell and it's starting to lose its originality. But this isn't about that. This is about why the iPhone is the greatest phone ever made. And not about which brand makes the best phones, software, or a war. Because realistically speaking, the iPhone is pretty average at the normal stuff. Um, a flagship phone is expected to do in 2022, because I have an iPhone 14 Pro. What it really excels at is what the others can't. The other phones have better AI, like the Pixel version call screen, and it can, it knows basically what mode you're in. It's got basically like a mood ring for everything. Um, it can, it has heart rate features um, from, the, from the watch, from the Pixel watch. Um, it's got, I think, now don't quote me on this, but I think, and I believe that it might have a faster neural processing unit. It takes better, better photos subjectively. I'm not going to take a whole argument, but from many reviews, um, the Pixel takes better and more dynamic photos in, con in tricky conditions than the iPhone. And everyone who says the iPhone has a trash camera or whatever, I'm missing the point. Yes, the camera has its issues, but it's not designed to be a Pixel. It's just designed to get jo a job done and do it well. And, um, yeah, that's why the ultra wide angle isn't super amazing still, and the telephone kind of sucks still. But the main sensor is amazing. I'm not defending the cameras. I think it's time for Apple to kind of start ramping it up a lot. Um, I've had an Apple phone, or an iPhone, I should say, so like at my dad's, an iPhone since the 11. And by no means my diehard Apple user, sure, I use an iPad, and I will always use an iPad for photo editing graphic design and stuff like that for work. Um, mostly because it's just easier, better, faster, quicker. Everything is just better on it than comparable Androids. And there's nothing against Android itself. There's just no tablets. And Windows tablets are just weird at this point. Like, they kind of gave up, but then they tried again. Anyways, that's off topic. Um, Samsung has better zoom, much better zoom, and better zoom AI, and better and high resolution video capture. Um, I don't think that is necessarily the greatest thing ever, that we can shoot 8K, but whatever. A possibility is a possibility, and I'm not going to say no to having 8K or more features. My channel is dedicated to 8K upscales and renders. But the reason I think the iPhone is the best phone, especially the 14 series of phones, is because you can just trust them. You can just rely on them. And yes, I know that iOS 16 currently is very buggy. And let's be real, iOS 16 will probably remain buggy into iOS 17. I've had bugs, even though I haven't had bugs on most of my other phones, like I've had a decent amount of bugs, nothing too serious. Um, but I think for the best premium phone, it's iPhone. Yes, Sony makes crazy phones with insane cameras that have moving shutters and moving telescope lenses, and Samsung has a 
crap ton of cameras that can do for jillion things. And it has a ton of storage and, and can fold and flip and do all that. And the Pixel can take incredible photos, and trust me, I know I've seen them. And I've used Pixel 6s, I've used Pixel 3s and 4s and a 5. Um, and I owned a Pixel 4. And I've owned Androids for as long as I can remember. But I've always damaged them, I've always cracked them. Just no idea they were ever worn on them. I've broken pieces off of them. And I'm fairly rough, but not super rough, where it's like considered abuse. Um, and this video isn't about the ecosystem because that's beaten to death. Like, realistically, everyone talks about that. It's like, calm down. We know that iPhones just work. But that's what I love about the iPhone is it just works. It saved my life twice. When I fell, I have a medical condition. And my heart rate just rises rapidly. And my Apple Watch detected it. Um, which is great and all. Um, but w the other time was I didn't have my Apple Watch on, so I didn't have a way of detecting it. But I felt faint and I passed out. Fortunately, I'm in a sidewalk and fell into a grass, into long grass. Um, that hasn't been, that wasn't mowed, and my iPhone detected that I fell and called the emergency services. I don't know if any other phone can do that. I am very big into tech, and I think maybe the Pixel can, but I don't know. Samsung can't do it. Huawei's banned Motorola is just dead at this point in the United States for flagship phones. But I've come to trust that whenever I'm somewhere, I can trust that my iPhone will work. That I can take a photo and it'll be decent. I can edit it later. I can shoot raw. I can edit that raw and make something incredible. I can library, make phone calls. I can have conference calls that just work without using stupid Google Meets, which is a, this is a mess and a half. I, I, used, I honestly gave up Google Meets, which was my previous favorite. Um, after the merger with Duo, just use FaceTime. Because everything just works. My iPhone's been, I've had iPhones I've cracked one iPhone, and that was kind of an accident. Um, I put it between a a pair of pliers to hold it up, and something hit it, the pliers and cracked the back. Thankfully, I kind of replaced it for, uh, for $29 or whatever it was. But like, I've had a 13 Pro fall six feet onto ceramic and just crack the ceramic. Um, they're durable. Uh, kind of, like, I have never broken an iPhone outside of that freak accident. And I'm, I'm hard. I've rock climbed. I've filmed in the blizzards, rainstorms. F I photographed in 100 degree heat. I photographed in negative 20 degrees. I filmed. I've dropped it in hot cocoa, coffee. And it just works. And now the site, and now with um, oh shoot, it's satellite communication on both T-Mobile, which is my carrier, as well as on, on device coming later, I I can definitively trust that my iPhone can save my life, and that is something that now the phone gives me. So it's not only the both of you that's incredible to me, but any attention to detail. Sure, it's lacking a decent amount of features that Android has and has had for a long time. And yes, the old design display is a bit weird still. But realistically, I trust my iPhone more than I trust any other phone. And I've tried many phones. Um, but I just find that I can just get my work done. Edit a video, 
do video work. Um, like, I don't get on my phone. I usually use it to do photography and stuff like that, or calls and play, play music. But the sheer speed at which it processes data is incredible. Siri so sucks, by the way. Um, but yeah, it just works. Everything launches, it's got, it's got speed for days. And they just don't lose value. And I'm not just show, saying this because I'm showing Apple or I'm a big Apple fanboy. Yes, I have Apple products, but like, if something came along that's better, I would recommend it. I'm, like, I hate, I love Windows for the fact that, that programs that I can't do on my Mac just run on Windows because it's run for run Windows, so why change it? Um, but for work, I, I use Mac. But the fact that I can trust the device to save me in emergencies or just work in extreme conditions without needing something extra and still get me through the day, that's something that you don't get with any other phone. And that's why I personally think the iPhone is the best phone on sale currently. Sure, the foldables are out there and they're all futuristic and stuff, but they break almost with no effort. And Sony's are just expensive and niche. Um, Pixels are still a bit niche, but they're cheaper. Realistically, it's the competition. So yeah, that's, what, that's my opinion. Um, feel free to chime in um, and state your, state your piece. This is a conversation. Mm-mm. <clears throat>